Hi everyone, this is Chris Lewicki, President and Chief Asteroid Miner here at Planetary Resources. We've been extraordinarily busy here at Planetary, and it's been a while since we've posted a tech update. I'm here at my desk in Bellevue, Washington, right outside Seattle, with one of the ARCID-100 mechanical prototypes that are under production here in the shop. The ARCID-100 is our space telescope and technology demonstrator for our prospecting missions. Now, one of the earliest decisions we made was to design and build as much as possible in-house right here at Planetary. This is much the same way that Elon Musk and SpaceX have vertically integrated to drive innovation, control reliability, and to keep costs down. And this is going to allow us to mass produce our spacecraft at extremely low cost. The first thing I'd like you to notice about the ARCID-100 is that it's daringly small. This cuts the cost of deep space missions below anything we've become accustomed to. Our engineering team is packing tremendous capability into this small package, and this will give us more launch opportunities to get our spacecraft where they need to go in the solar system. So as I lift the prototype, you can see the density of everything that we've packed into these 11 kilograms, from our deployable solar arrays, to the integrated avionics bay on the bottom, and our instrument and sensor package at the back of the comparatively large optical assembly that really dominates the volume of the spacecraft. Of course, what you can't see is the innovations that we're developing in the flight software, but our software team will assure you that they exist. Without divulging our intellectual property, I can tell you that we're working to make this the most advanced spacecraft per kilogram that exists today. We're drawing on our experience from traditional and private space exploration and combining it with exponential technology developments of the past few years and those to come in the next few years. With all of this, we're raising the bar on spacecraft design above anything that's been done before. All right, let's go on a quick tour of PRI headquarters and head over to the clean room. Here in our class 10,000 clean room and our class 100 flow benches over there, we're focused on developing our spacecraft optics. One of the things that's unique about our optic is that it's multifunctional. Not only can we collect imagery over a wide range of wavelengths and intensities, but we also use it for laser communications, giving ourselves more option than the large dishes that have been used by the Deep Space Network today. Let's take a closer look. In our LaserCom test bed, we're demonstrating tracking and pointing algorithms that will be essential for returning data to Earth. Now this is important because our ARCID 200 and 300 prospecting spacecraft can be up to hundreds of millions of kilometers from Earth. And our small size, weight, and power don't allow traditional spacecraft communications technology, which is often as large as our entire spacecraft. Now we're not the only ones who are interested in this. We're actually under contract to help this technology develop for NASA as well. Now let's take a look at where our spacecraft are being manufactured. I'm in our manufacturing facility where we're building additional configuration prototypes. With each prototype build, we're learning a lot about how to strip cost out of the assembly, integration, and test process. And that will be incredibly valuable when we start mass production of these units destined for space. Here's one example of what I mean. We can use this computer-controlled mill to create single piece parts that serve as the avionics box and other elements of the ARCID series, driving simplicity and tight integration into our vehicle. Our goal is to evolve a process that will allow just a few of our staff to deliver finished spacecraft in a very short amount of time. Fewer people, less time, means lower cost. Well, that's it for today. We'll keep you updated about things as they progress. There's a lot going on here. Thank you again for all your support, and it's good to know you're excited as we are about this critical series of missions and what they mean for creating abundance in space and here on Earth.